So we're going to be attacking this from two different ways. You know, for people that already have a thriving sphere of influence, you know, a big Facebook following or, you know, you've been doing this a long time, it's really easy for you to stay in front of that sphere. So we'll talk about that. Newer agents, maybe you don't have that huge sphere built up yet, but you're going to. So we'll be talking about different ways that you can use, we call it pay to play. Basically, when you're posting, you know, in Facebook and such, you can put some ad dollars towards that. And we had that huge class with ERA Amy. And if you weren't able to be at that class, we do have the slide deck from that. And we've got Steven as a really great resource to help you um, uh, understand how to use your marketing dollars to create a following and create an audience in Facebook. Okay, so let's talk about staying in front of your sphere. These are some ideas that I put together. Love to hear more. So pop buys, I think this is a great idea, but let's be really, you know, aware of social distancing rules. You know, walking through your own neighborhood and dropping off, you know, porch items is probably an okay thing to do. I don't know that you want to be driving around to random neighborhoods and walking through right now. We're supposed to be sort of staying in our own, you know, home area, either in your home or walking through your neighborhood. And, you know, think about making sure when you're putting things together, if you're going to do pop buys, making sure that, you know, hands are washed, surfaces are clean, you know, all the necessary precautions to make sure that the items that you're dropping off are safe to do. But I think right now with um, parents working from home and also trying to keep the kiddos entertained, this is the perfect time to do kid themed pop buys or family, uh, you know, event pop buys. So I've got some ideas up there, school supplies, art supplies, indoor games, you know, put together a little kit of have you ever seen like those mason jar ingredient kits for making cookies and such? Um, great thing to drop off, especially to people that you've already worked with and know. Um, you know, cards and dice and games, snack packs. So just think about the kids mostly and the family time that we're trying to, you know, everybody's trying to figure out what to do in their free time right now. And then there's this concept of vir virtual pop buys. You can send out Pardon? Oh, Joy, sidewalk chalk. I love that. Anyone else? Can you think of... Oh, let's make sure we're muted, guys. Hey, guys. Yeah, what's let's mute that up. Let's mute that. Uh, I think I think one, one thing, too, uh, I love the sidewalk chalk and all the ideas Melissa had. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just needs to, and even maybe a note with it, you know, and just leave it at the porch, even with mm -hmm. some sidewalk chalk or, uh, you know, uh, just something. I mean, um, playing cards, uh, you know, just a note. I think, first of all, it's nice to get out right now, you know? Yeah. And uh, and, and second of all, uh, so, I mean, get out with a mission and, and, and drop something off. And um, I, I think it's great just to let people know you're thinking about them. and. Um, you know, I always say, we used to always say, um, you know, there's that, there's that saying that, that, you know, if you do, what, what's the saying, if you do good, it comes back to you or something like that, you know, and I, and I, I changed that and I said, just, just, just always do good. Right. And, and, and it, does it come back to you? Yes. But maybe you don't do it because of that. Just, just do something right now. Um, because I think, I think like, the key is, yeah, I think the key is we just want to get when, when we come out of this, we want to be positioned to do to do really well. And what we're all going to have to do is just to do the best we can until we get out of this. So Joy um, just popped in and said it really yeah. well. When you can't do what you do, do what you can. Yes, I think that's great. And I think if our mission right now is, I guess it's give, right? It's That's the old saying is, is you give to get. And I hate that saying because I, I always say you give to give. And I think right now just giving and you don't have to have money to give you you can give um you know give give what you can and just be present with people and i think i love all these ideas and i think you know um yeah just 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 care i think right now everybody needs to care and give empathy and sympathy and um you know we we just had a member of our real estate community that i actually uh 
worked with for a long time. Uh, father just died from COVID and uh, last night. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's real, it's happening. And I think we just need to just to do <laughs> what we can do. Yeah, Easter egg coloring kits, you know, oh, they're, love that. They're, yeah, they're hard. I mean, just, I love that idea. And we got Easter coming up and it's going to be a different Easter for most people. And um, um, anything you can do right now, I think just to the little things, it's just the little things. And if you don't have money for Popeyes, there's other things you can do. And I'm sure Melissa will go into that, but I think yeah. just, give, just give to give right now without it, without a, obviously for in, in, in this business, we're trying to stay top of mind, right? Um, people are going to want to talk to you guys about real estate anyway. You just have to engage in the conversations. Yeah. So I was thinking about that, you know, maybe you don't want to walk a neighborhood, maybe, you know, it's cost prohibitive. You can do this virtually too. You can give out cool things that people need right now. Like, uh, you know, like a link to family game night ideas. There's a lot of cool stuff online about science projects, you know, thing, things that you have in your pantry that can literally turn into a science project with the kids. Um, art projects, homeschool website resources to supplement what the schools are doing and help those families um, keep the kids learning engaged. Um, activity websites for the, the kids. Create uh, music playlists, you know, for kids, right? Fun, energetic, dance, kid music. And then maybe um, every week you do a themed playlist for the adults. We're doing that with the KR staff right now. And, you know, we're helping create those playlists and putting them out to you guys. So I thought that would be neat to do to, for your clients as well. And then there's yeah, so and many workout and stretching videos and yoga videos. Maybe you want to do a weekly podcast that you send out and start a virtual group talking about it. Yeah, Jen just said, uh, you know, parents need uh educational stuff i know that for the little ones like abc mouse right now has a really yeah. cool cool stuff out and just giving those resources out or even even things like resources to um grocery stores in the area that are delivering and how to do that and you know there's a lot of people that still don't know how to do that and um you know i focusing on it joy you're right uh with the seniors, seniors. i mean uh yeah like and maybe the target isn't i mean maybe you put together a, a 30 minute and i would love to do this at night like a 30 minute um time where we get together and we actually write cards to the seniors to 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 sh to mail them to the to the homes and uh you know just just things like that and and but think about you know we we used to talk a lot about um and we still do but about our sphere being our tribe and you being the leader of your tribe and think about how much impact and, you know, honestly, this is the reason I started Night Brility, um, was I, I, I wanted to make an impact and I wanted to, and I knew that if my team and I could make a, a significant impact, but if we could grow this and I had, we had a, a brokers and a more people with us that then could impact the people they know and their sphere, think of the impact we could make as a company you're the leader of that group for yourself. So think about how you can impact, but also think about how you can get your tribe together and, and, and yeah. bring your tribe together to impact at a big level where you could do Zoom in 30 minutes writing those and you're going to, what, whatever it is, whatever your idea is, think about uniting your tribe and doing something right now. Big, mm -hmm. do something big. Um, I loved the happy hour bingo that um, Gia and Hannah put together for us, and I know that that was a res uh, the resource for the cards. Gia could send that out to everybody after this, but how fun would it be just to set up that bingo happy hour for the clients? You know, you can promote that, how many prizes you're going to do, what the pri prizes are, do it all virtually, and just get some random people together because everyone wants a little bit of company right now, and meeting new people is a good thing. I know I'm getting a little tired of seeing the same faces in my house all day. I'd love to meet some new ones. So if anyone does that, invite me too, okay? All right, some more ideas for staying in front of the sphere. Um, a lot of us have done Facebook promotions where we're doing a giveaway. Why not have a contest geared towards the kids entering? Um, Jen, your, your daughter on TikTok kind of inspired me for this. She's so sweet. Like maybe the kids have a TikTok, you know, dance video contest or draw your dream house. It'd be super easy to just 
have people post their entries in the comments. We'll make it fun and you know everyone likes watching cute kids and seeing great drawings. So even without a large Facebook friend list, you can promote and pay to boost to a group of, of Facebook type people. Okay, and we I can just help you learn I, how to I, do I, that if you need it. Absolutely, Steven can help with that for sure. Yeah. I just had this idea too, you know, we, we just did a class before this, this uh, pandemic on, um, and I think actually it was, it was right when it was starting, we did a, um, uh, we did a uh, housewarming party, right? Um, why not do a virtual housewarming party for somebody that closed? Invite oh other. Same brain. Um, next, yeah. next slide. Oh, Same brain. next slide. Dang it. Okay. I, I just <laughs> agree with you. All right. Keep going. Um, so virtual babysitting. I got this idea from a friend who stuck home with her little ones, and they seem to like talking to me. So why not for those close clients? Obviously not random kids. Parents probably aren't going to let you talk to them, but. For the close clients, maybe reach out to them and offer 15 minutes or 30 minutes of entertaining their kids on FaceTime so they can go take a minute for themselves. Um, again, just giving, right, serving. Um, organize a food drive. I know the schools really, really need um, uh, supplies right now. Angela Nesty in our Vancouver office knows a ton of people in the school districts. So if you want to do something like this, reach out to her for some ideas and maybe the clients get involved and just drop stuff on the porch and you go pick it up and donate. So Jeff, I'll let you talk about virtual housewarming party. Oh geez, I don't know. You probably talk about it better than me, but <laughs> it was just a thought I had. I mean, why not do the same thing, just do it virtually, right? And maybe yeah. maybe part of the housewarming party is combining it with a game played and that's mm -hmm. where you give gifts out. Um, instead of spending the money on the cake and the, the, the catering and all of that that you're not able to do, um, but you could do the, you could work the invites, the virtual invites to all the people that they want, put their family and friends on. I, I think that would, I mean, honestly, that would might be more, that would be more impactful right now than ev in any time doing a face-to-face -face housewarming party. Yeah. I, I, I just think, you know, the, it, first of all, I, I keep saying activity, brief activity, gives you guys something to focus on and something to do at a big level an opportunity for you to meet people, them to see their friends and family that they're not seeing right now. And even if they're doing Zoom, there's probably a ton of people on there they're not seeing. Um, I, it, maybe do, like I said, maybe do a game. Uh, kids would love that too. Maybe do bingo throughout or, you know, a raffle or something along the lines of that. I just, yeah. I, I just think that would be on every closing you have, invite us. I mean, I, I would love to pop in and uh, say hi. Please, you know? I need to talk to people. Yes, we want to talk to people too. Please do this. So, um, but yeah, I mean, how cool would it be to to get a hundred people on and 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 you start the Zoom and it's your Zoom and you you do that. Uh, I you know you you send the invites out, you follow up with people, you plan the events. They they join, let them speak uh, to their friends and family, let each other enjoy each other and but maybe have a little bit of an itinerary you even work with your clients about. And it's a six, maybe a 60 minute event. I think that would be amazing. So I had the idea of combining it with a pop by. Um, I don't know if you know, but you can order labels that go on wine bottles. So you can yep. print them right in the printer, you format it, you print them up, take the label off a bottle of wine and slap this on. So maybe do the invite as well, you know, virtual invite, and then also the label on a bottle of wine and then Everyone's got a bottle of wine for the party. Doesn't have to be expensive wine, but it could be really fun. Yeah, get creative with this. I think that's what we're saying. Or I mean, moonshine, we've got time. Yeah, moonshine. That's awesome. I, I think the thing is, guys, is is what I keep saying to our staff is this is an opportunity for us when this is over to be better as a company, as people and professionals. And you guys have the same opportunity right now to really dial your business in and put these things in, in place right now and do them maybe differently. Maybe the housewarming party is always virtual because maybe the advantage to the virtual is people, their friends and family from California and Wisconsin yeah. and Texas can join. And maybe this is always a virtual thing and this is how you separate yourself and you dial it in and you make it fun and you do one. 
and you sit back and you go, what could I have done different to make that better? This is an opportunity for us all to be reflective and making ourselves better <laughs> and making this better. I, I absolutely you know, love that idea and, and make it your own, make it creative, engage your clients. And I think they'll be so happy. And like I said, when we come out of this, I do believe things are going to be changed. I think yeah. we're all getting, uh, you know, we're all working from home. We're all, we're all doing all of these things, but let's think about not just what to do now, but really to follow through. And what I hope is we come out of this when we do come out of this, that we're going to be better agents. We're going to be better uh, marketers. We're going to be better at what we do. We just need to keep moving. We just need to keep moving. And this is an amazing way to keep moving. And I guarantee you what happens from this is all of these people that join to do this go, God, my realtor didn't do that. That is so nice. And they're going to remember you and you keep them on your sphere list and you market to them and you've got everybody's emails and phone numbers and maybe you text them the invite and you, you know, I'm so happy and put a picture of the client in front of the house, um, you know, with the invite to it and you text them and you email them and, and you just get, get them there. And then you show that you're, you're just different than everybody else and you care more than everybody else. And maybe you even do, put with it that you're going to donate for every person there. You're going to donate 20, you know, whatever it is. I don't know, $10 to your client's favorite charity. What about something like that? That would be a huge thing to do right now. Or $10 to get masks for the, I, I, just be creative with it. What can you do? And remember, you take, take your commission and maybe you take a little chunk of that and throw it at the house room party. Probably the best thing you could do for your business right now. And I love the idea of dialing this in because even after this is over, maybe this is the way you do it. Like I said, because it's an easy thing to tell your client. We want you to have your friends and family join us from everywhere. Like I would love to see my family that lives in Virginia and Washington, D.C. and all that. But I would never invite them to a housewarming party. But I could now. You know what I mean? Right. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> text your clients a, a personalized video. They get to see your face. Offer some help. Don't talk real estate, you know. Just talk, what can I do? How are you doing? Not market updates, not do you have something to sell. Literally just reach out and say, do you need anything? Can I help with anything? Do you know anyone that needs help? And try to connect with people. Uh, I think this is a great time also to go back to basics. Nailers are wonderful right now. You know, Jeff just talked about uh, notes to seniors, right? And back in the day when Jeff started his company and his team, he was all about the, the monthly newsletter and mailer. And he talks about it always had something fun in it. So, you know, you could have your market updates, but also have something for the kids to look forward to, you know, and maybe send something out weekly at this point, because this is going to go on for a few more weeks. But if you send out a weekly, you know, activity sheet for the kids or, um, like I talked about, science experiments, that sort of thing, list of ingredients, just something for the parents to look forward to. Yeah, what and I used to do, guys, farm a neighborhood is, that way. Oh, I'm sorry, Melissa. I, what I used no, yeah, to do, like, that's, the old school that's idea of neighborhood farming, just randomly sending to not yeah. people you know, but a neighborhood you want to get into. I'll give you guys what I used to do with, uh, I used to buy in bulk out of Oriental Trading Company, uh, Oriental Trading Company. Um, and this stuff is so cheap, but think about, I used to always target in my newsletters, the kids, because of, that was just the demographic of, you know, people my age with little ones, but think about, you can get all kinds of stuff on there for really inexpensive and just mail it. Like Melissa said, every week, every two weeks during this isn't going to cost you a lot, um, to do. And I think it would just mean everything to people is right on. Now. so um so think about that so oriental trading company is where i used to order my stuff and uh like i said you can just get bulk bulk i do you bulk little things that'll go in the mail really nicely and even if you don't want to do a newsletter right now just a simple you know just a simple note card with a note on it with something in there of, as an item of value is just monstrous right now and how cool would it be for the kids to every week to know, use this maybe as the same colored envelope 
you know, get colored envelopes and maybe the same colored envelope every week, they know there's something in there for them. And, and that, that's just huge right now. I mean, I think we have a, we have almost a better, we have more of a captive audience than we've ever had. I think, I think digital marketing and marketing in general has been changing and really as not as effective as it used to be over the last few years, because everything is changing. We have a, right now, this is, this is back to square one kind of where people would be excited are excited to go get their mail. People are excited to get something. People are excited to hear from people. And I think, you know, it's just, um, uh, it, it's just a different time. So anything you can do to reach in and just give, um, it, it's just, it's just huge right now. Okay, so we've got tons of graphics and content that we've put together that you can continue posting. You might, you know, like for you newer agents that don't necessarily have that big database of clients and sphere yet, consider doing the pay to play. This is the time to, to put some marketing dollars into. Well, I'm in a meeting. Welcome it's to home office. Room. Home office in its finest, right? <laughs> First time that's happened to me yet. That was fun. There's, have you guys seen um, on Facebook and stuff, the meetings with the people walking in the background and trying to hide? Right, like stuff. the naked guy walks out of the shower. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Uh, it's just so funny. So funny. I have a um, home baby video like that. My husband walked out of the bathroom while I was shooting the baby, but it was too cute. You have to keep it. Um, so pay to play. Again, Stephen, maybe you could just go ahead and like send us out the basics of how to set up an account. Awesome, thank you. So this is the time to start thinking about how do I build my sphere? You know, there's a lot of info to get out to the public. There's some people that don't even realize that we can't show houses right now that need education. So it's it's time to, you know, think about spending a couple dollars and start building up that following. So if you look in our Facebook page, it's really easy, even if you missed a post, there's a section that says, you know, group pictures, pictures that have been in the group. You can find all the graphics there. We can email them to you in a bulk if you'd rather, just whatever y'all need, chat it in. If you want a big bulk email, just say yes, and we'll get that going. And then check other industry sources. We're posting a lot, weekly, daily. There's places you can go for graphics, NAR, PMAR, um, ERA, Leverage has got a ton of good stuff. Um, so next slide, we're gonna start talking about video and what you can do with video. We've talked a lot already about uh, touring houses and doing tours of the office listings. And you could even do tours from other firms now that we're allowed to go preview homes. There's so many agents who would welcome the extra marketing help right now. So just, you know, if you see a listing that you like, contact the agent and ask if you can, you know, help promote and do a tour. Um, virtual open houses, definitely want to keep doing those. And then for a quick example of a great video tour, I'll have Stephen click that link for us and share the screen up. Remember, we've got the J2 group, all those vacant listings, you're welcome anytime. You don't even have to ask or set an appointment, just go do it. And you want to use music and make it fun. Just keep thinking fun when you're doing videos right now. And I'll show you some more examples in the following slides. Another thing, guys, I'll, I'll tell you is we're probably got on the J2, the Zillow offers listings, we probably have half of them right now with self-guided tours. Um, I think, you know, that's a new thing in the industry. And um, it might be really cool for you it, just to show your clients what a self-guided tour looks like. And if you need to know which properties those are, you can always reach out to Kelly or Kevin or Anna mm -hmm. um, or April and ask which ones are self-guided. But that's a really new thing and something we would be promoting like crazy right now if uh, if we weren't in this, this situation. But it might be something just to educate your clients on. Like, look, th there's vacant homes out there and now there's this new thing called self-guided tours. and um, on some of these, you know, call me for a list of those and um, and maybe show them, maybe videotape and show them how it works. You literally go up, put the app, the app gives you a, a code and you go in and there's and a couple cameras in there and um, you just go through the house. So 
it's super easy to do. Um, if you do have the list of the J2 listings too, you can look them up in the MLS and if they're self-guided, they will tell you they're self-guided and there'll be a, a, a sheet in there on how to go through it. So that might be a really cool thing to do. I'm just trying to think out loud on, you know, how to get content and, and, and that the listings are cool, uh, are a great idea and the, the virtual showings, the virtual, everything we've been doing. Um, but maybe that, cause that's a new, that's a whole new thing out there right now. First time in the area other than when open door did it, but that wasn't advertised very well. So it may be, that may be a cool thing that I think people would be interested in. Next screen, Joy, a uh, good question about using music and the rights to use it. There are sites where you can download uh, music that you don't have to pay for. And you know what we'll do, Stephen, maybe maybe that's a good one um, to yeah. jot down. Why don't we get you guys a list on our Facebook group of where we go to get music and where we like to go to get music, whether it's free or you can just pay like 99 cents to have the rights to the song. Yeah. Um, so why don't we do that, Stephen? Uh, good to go? Cool. Okay. That's a really great point, Joy. This is what we want to do for you guys, too, is keep telling us what you guys need. And, um, you know, we want to keep keep getting you guys what you guys need So as we, as we go through this. Okay. Well, we're going to send out the slide deck so we can yeah, get this. Keep, for some reason, it keeps free, freezing up the computer. So I'll just uh, – sure. we'll send out the slide deck to everyone and, with the live links. Yeah, so the um, – actually, can you maybe just copy those links into the chat so people can click on them or, and take a look? Because there's some fun stuff in there. Um, instead of – I think people right now are really um, posting a lot about their services and virtual services and the rest of that, and that's great. But I think that there's fun ways to do it. I'm loving TikTok right now. I think that it's a really great format. So there's a couple of examples in there of just how to keep this a little bit more upbeat and a little bit more energetic. And the cool thing is when you put it in Facebook, it's right there. They don't have to link through to YouTube and skip an ad and see a sidebar of other stuff. It just is. So, hey, Michelle, I don't think you I don't think you know, but like a week ago, I, sh I, I oh maybe you did see it. I I did a rap video. Did you know that? Uh, you did send that to me. That was pretty awesome. Is it finished I, I yet? Did, well, I mean, it's 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 organic. It's it's totally finished. It's just is what it is, you know. And I, I had uh, over six thousand views now at Zillow for that. So maybe that's uh, awesome. You know, I, I I think I think we may have to send that out. It's uh, it's, uh, it was, uh, I had to, I, I'm not a very good singer or rapper, so I picked Biz Marquee, uh, a little Biz Marquee action there, but, uh, maybe we'll have to, we'll have to send yeah. that out. It was a Friday night. I'm quarantined. What do you do? You start rapping and, uh, <laughs> making, making your own lyrics up. So, uh, apparently we're in a rap battle now inside of Zillow offers. And so uh, we're waiting for them to hit us and then we're going to hit them back with a rap. So. Uh, nice just, just done. have you know, try to try to have a little bit of fun with it too, you know. I made a video um, inviting some friends the other night to play Virtual Ten Thousand, which is a dice game. Super fun. If you have six dice, call me because we can play. Um, my daughter watched it. And she goes, "Mom, you should put that on TikTok. You will be famous." It was like desperation video, bored. Um, okay, so are we going to get the links to work? Do you think, or we'll just send this out? And you guys can take a look. <laughs> Do some chew pack next. Nice. Um, so when you are looking at these links in the videos, my idea is you just want to keep some, just be your personality. You don't need to be doom and gloom. You don't need to be talking about sanitizing right now. I mean, I think a lot of us already know this. You talk with your clients, you know, client by client about that. But right now, while you're trying to build a following and create new business, just put out something fun and fresh and energetic and engaging and just be a little beacon of light in someone's life at the moment. Anything to add to that, Jeff? No, I think uh, right now, guys, we're, we're going to, so I, I will tell you guys um, a couple things real quick and then uh, let's all let you do your, your thing. But uh, um, uh, we next, so our plan from here on out is uh, Wednesdays, we're going to be doing a, um podcast with everybody 
um, at 9 a.m. And uh, we're going to have one of our uh, brokers lead that. Um, and it's going to be based off of professional and personal development. And I think it'll be a really good thing for us to do. And then Thursdays, we'll continue to have these classes. And then on Fridays afternoons, probably starting next week, we'll start doing like an hour of playing games and having happy hour with each other. Um, and then, of course, we'll, we'll keep going from there. Um, on the business front of things, um, to the PPP uh, for independent contractors, the um, payroll thing is tomorrow for you guys. We don't have any rules on those yet or how that's going to look, but I keep telling you guys, make sure you talk to your banks. I know, Ben, I know that you brought up that your bank wasn't accepting uh, applications if you hadn't been uh, um, a client before February 15th. Again, I'm going to tell you Banner Bank is and Key Bank is. So I would go open checking accounts there, a business checking account for 100 bucks, and they'll process. Um, I just got um, all of my applications through Banner Bank filled out and done. So um, I had to switch banks to do that uh, and uh, as well. So that comes out tomorrow. I'd definitely be talking to your banker about that, um, your CPA. Uh, unemployment we're still waiting on. Um, but I think right now all that stuff is out there and we're going to keep walking with you guys through that. But I want you guys to think about how you can change your business throughout this. And, and we're really trying to focus on, um, you know, projects that maybe had got, you know, shoved away for a year because we've been so busy pulling those back out right now and just doing it. And I, I, I love the ideas today. Um, and, you know, make yourself and make your business just better. Uh, than it was going into this. And this is a time I think mentally and emotionally and everything else, we need to try to stay as sharp as we can. And that goes with waking up in the morning and getting your shower and dressing up, dressing to go to the office. This is how I dress to go to the office, by the way. So <laughs> I'm, I'm still in my, I'm still in my gear. Um, but uh, just, just continue to, to breed activity and um, just continue to, to do that. So Okay, so you know what? There's just one that I would like people to click on because I thought it was just so cute and really, really lends itself to. So if you go in your chat bar, this is just the cutest video, the one that says what not to do in escrow on TikTok. This could so easily be copied to showcase your virtual um, services without just like, you know, a lot of people are putting up a list of virtual services. Make it fun. So if you click that and take a look, that'd be the first one I'd want you to see. Yeah, let's let's open it up. I mean, you guys have been really good about, um, you know, suggesting in the, the chat. What do you guys want to talk about? We've got a little bit of time left or, or we'll just get to work. So is there anything you guys want to talk about, bring up, ask questions about? There was a TikTok that I saw on Facebook that someone had reposted in one of the ERA groups. And uh, one of their brokers uh, had made a TikTok about like the no no's of first time home buyers, like not to buy a new car right before. That's, and that's the one I was just talking about. Oh, that's yeah. And it got like 60,000 views in like yeah. not even that long. So TikTok's yeah. huge. So, Gia, yeah, you, was, I have a good one in there where it's like, um, what adds value and you know the the background song is like yes no yes yeah. no it's, it's, just do something fun yeah there's hey, so Gia. many good ideas in this chat bar gee you're pretty cool and young and that sort of thing <laughs> well, do you tiktok you. <laughs> do you tiktok i don't tiktok i watch tiktoks but i don't make the videos though <laughs> maybe maybe gia maybe we should see a gia tiktok maybe oh, that <laughs> might put that might put a smile yeah they're fun and easy <laughs> I feel like Gia should start the, the KR TikTok trend right now. Oh, I really do. Gia's never going to speak in one of these again. But I think that's true. This is yeah, all about this is all about getting out of our shell and 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 doing new things, right? And so, <laughs> right. Gia's going to be a TikTok star. I feel it. Yeah, maybe we can make a, a KR KR TikTok. Oh, a TikTok <laughs> class. I love that idea, Joy. Yes. I think Gia should Gia and Hannah should should do our TikTok class for us <laughs> and we should just um, that would be fun we'll we'll have it be a drinking game like every TikTok that's done we'll have a we'll have a drink and we'll we'll just it'll get more more crazy and more fun as we go so I love that idea 
<laughs> oh, thanks for the comment, Jen. <laughs> oh, a TikTok, a TikTok of Gia laughing. I think that would be fabulous. Just fabulous. A, and the flu of Gia's laugh. I always say, Gia laughs. You have to smile. You can't not <laughs> smile when Gia laughs. So I love it. I love it, Gia. You you uh, you work on this. The, you know, work on this with Steven. You guys come up with some good ideas for us. Okay, so maybe our next with, class will be TikTok. Run by Gia. TikTok with Gia. I like that. That's like a that could catch on. TikTok with Gia. I like that. <laughs> I'll go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'm still sending out my weekly thought of the week, um, and that seems to to do good. Um, yeah. And I, and and I'm still making the personal phone calls, which are really great for catching up, and people appreciate it. That, that awesome. Is. What? So your thoughts of the week is that something you put on Facebook, or do you send direct to your clients? No, it's it's an email. Okay. Um, and it's just Joy's thought of the week. Cool. Um, and it's just try, I, it's just something inspirational, or just to keep in front of them. And yeah. it it's been really really good for me. Sometimes sometimes I'll see I'll say hey I've got a new listing out here if you've got somebody. But I try not to like promote promote. It's just kind of a more of a hi guys. You know this week I was thinking about this and. Um, it's been really good. Yeah, I think that's great, Joy, because I think yeah. that the promotion, the promotion side, and I've seen it with uh, some realtors out there and, uh, you know, other companies and stuff, just that I, I, I think right now, I think the thing that, that that's, you know, you see so much good and so much like people doing good just to do good. And we hear about these companies doing great things and people doing great things. And then there's this little side of it right now that's like, how do I take advantage of Yeah, I this? hate that. God, I hate that. And I think, yeah. you know, it's something we've been preaching for a long time, which is just do good to do good. And, and, and yeah, it, business comes from that because people trust you and want to do that. But don't do it because you want them to trust you. Don't do it because you want something from them. And, and I, I think that Melissa knows because I, I kind of lost my stuff about, a week and a half ago when I saw a recruiting ad go out by a company to probably all you guys. And it was just like, are you kidding me? Like, this is not the time to try to take advantage of and use scare tactics in this market, you know? So I don't know. I, I just, I, I love that. I think just putting out positivity um, breeds it back and, 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 and just being you, I think you have to be you, but, but also use this time maybe to say, this is what I've always done. And I'm going to add these couple things, you know, to the, to the mix as well. And yeah. um, things we've talked about and things we'll continue to talk about. And uh, cause I do think this is a great time for us to go, gosh, how can we even give more? And um, I think the personal reach outs and stuff right now are so important. And, well, you know, I, I've got texts from yeah. some, yeah. When it go first, ahead. When it first happened and it all shook down, I, I added to the bottom, you know, I'm healthy, I'm well, please, please let me know if you need me to pick up groceries yeah. or, mm -hmm. or anything. And then, and then I followed up with many of those at risk clients and just said, I mean that, just yeah. let me know, you know, and, yeah. and they all appreciate that. But that's me anyway. So yeah, totally, totally. And I'll tell you guys for, for just personally, you know, I've had several texts from you guys, uh, many texts from you guys, just, um, you know, uh, thanking us and, and, and stuff and just, just engage. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that because this is hard for all of us. And, you know, I told our staff yesterday, I, I, I tend to be fairly creative and I like energy and I like people around me. And this is this is hard and different for me too, and so I I know it is for everybody, and I'm experiencing too, and and it, it's just nice. I just know how that makes me feel. Somebody that doesn't necessarily in the past had to have that, um, how it's making me feel now, and I can only imagine how much it helps every all your clients and everybody and each other just to stay positive, stay in front of each other, keep giving words of encouragement, keep letting people know you're thinking about them. And, um, you know, I took some time the other day to reach out to some of my guy friends.
friends I haven't talked because guys don't always always keep in touch that I haven't talked to in a while and texted them that I was thinking about them and asked how they were doing and it it just all that little stuff means a lot right now and don't do it because you're, you're trying to get something out of it and I think that's what we keep saying but but if you stay active think about how much you could do in an eight hour day if you just get up and go and how many people you can talk to what an impact you can make and I think you'll feel so much better at the end of the day there's not you guys know working there's nothing although although we might complain about it we may have used to complain about it. this is what i hope but at the end of the day when you're tired but you had a really good day and you showed and you came back and you maybe you got dinner at 7 30 and you had a glass of wine and uh, you know you relaxed but it felt good to go to bed tired do you know what i mean that that tired from going hard and working and knowing you're making an impact, that's the tired we need to keep doing, not just because we're tired because we're down or because we're sluggish or because we, you know, our steps that day that we got in, we're walking to the refrigerator 85 times. You know what I'm saying? Like we we need to, we need to get up and we need to go and be tired from, um, from that, you know, just from being tired from giving everything we got. Yeah, for sure. I was talking to another real estate agent friend the other day, not with our company, just a girlfriend in the industry. And she said she had had a really bad day and just crawled into bed at like three in the afternoon and laid there. When, if you're doing that for two hours, you could be doing so much more, you know, any of these ideas, just do something. Yeah, and it's hard because it's hard. It's hard to be isolated and it's hard to you know, go through this and it's going to get, it's going to get harder because this isn't going to stop anytime soon. And, and, and I think we just, we just, um, we, we just need, we also need to give ourselves a pass. Like if we did do that and, and we are having a day and we, we need to also give ourselves a pass and try again the next day. You know what I mean? Like try again the next day and get up and go. And I think making a list of what you want to accomplish. I, I'm such a list guy. I, ever, I I keep a list on my phone and I, it, there's nothing better than checking off something on your to-do list. You know, there's just something that feels accomplished with that. And sometimes I'm like, okay, I know I've got a busy day. Like I'm on six calls today and, and, and stuff, but I have four things today that I'm going to get done beyond those calls. I have four things I'm going to accomplish today. And I already got one off my list this morning. And, and so I know at the end of the day, if I get those four things done and I have my calls, I had a successful day. And we need to re define what a successful day looks like right now. And I think just defining what it is we need to get done and, you know, whether that's 10 phone calls or whatever it is. And, you know, um, I used to say when I first started, when I was 20, 22, 23, um, I had no business and I cold called and what my goal every day was I needed to talk to 15 people and I needed to leave 50 messages and sometimes I would get that done in two hours and then I would play video games the rest of the day I was really good at Madden and you know, I'm a football junkie but I bet you I accomplished more sometimes it would take me eight but some but but I accomplished more during that period than most realtors accomplished during their day and so um, I, I think just redefining what success is to you and I think have a list of what you want to get done realistic and bang it out and know like I know at the end of the day if I get those four things done which I will get those four things done and then it's four o'clock or something and I want to go play Monopoly with my kids that's okay I accomplished what I need to get done today um, so I think just maybe maybe instead of time make it things the items tasks that you want to get done today and and sometimes they're personal tasks sometimes it's like you know i need to pay my bills or i need to cancel this or i need to do that and um whatever it is but to redefine what your success is i think during the day yeah. get that done and feel accomplished you know good advice all right anyone got anything to add any other questions oh actually there was a question from louise uh, thought she read TikTok's a security risk. No, I have not heard that. Yeah, I think that there's a lot of stuff. I mean, we heard Facebook was a secure. I, I I don't know. I I um I, I guess I guess my thing is if if Big Brother wants to spy on us, they're gonna spy on us. We're all on everything. I've heard okay. Zoom is too. You know, I've heard Zoom is a security risk and everything else. Um, 
I, I, I say if Big Brother's going to spy on us, they're going to spy on us anyway. And, you know, I, I've heard that. I, I think they're rumors. I think I've heard that almost about every big thing. I mean, I heard Pokemon was, right, that they were tracking us uh, from Pokemon. <laughs> I still Pokemon. I'm telling you, I still Pokemon. It's therapeutic for me to throw a ball and catch something. It just is. And so I still Pokemon um, whenever I can. So, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to. I think that um, I think that the Gia TikTok is still going to happen with a drinking game, know. a drinking game. I'm so looking forward to that. Um, you know, I'm going to have my Pendleton ready to go and and uh, and and look forward to that. So that's what I'm taking out of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Joy is going to do a class on making moonshine. Thank you for the yes. offer. That's yes. awesome. That offer is accepted. I absolutely yes. think moonshine with Joy, TikTok yes. with Geo. I mean, we just accomplished a lot, guys. I mean, that's that is those are. Those are money right there. I'm I'm so stoked. We should have moonshine with joy in the morning so we can all make the moonshine and then TikTok with G in the afternoon so we can drink our moonshine. I love that. And then maybe we can do cooking with a coon ass. Yes. Cooking yes. with yeah, I love that. And Steven can teach us how to make some crawfish and, and, and we're we're dialed in. So I love that. I love that. Bring the talents. Bring the talents. Um on uh, back to the uh, uh, podcast on Wednesdays, we're going to get that out to you guys on Monday. So I really encourage you to do that because I think it'll be good for you guys. And it's self-development, professional mm -hmm. development, and then really come together. And Melissa and I will shut up during that time and let you guys kind of kind of do your thing. And you guys hear enough from us uh, right now. So um, but we'll keep keeping you guys up, up on all the other stuff that's going on. And I know Oregon schools have been. You know, in Washington schools, both now have been that they're not going to go back. And my my daughter's bummed because all the seniors actually are done in Oregon now. As long as they had passing grades, they don't have to go back to school. She's a senior, but she goes to a private school that is making her still go to school. Good so her, her, yeah, her and her friends are not happy right now. Uh, mm -hmm. But they're going to have to finish the year out, and so. She, I told her yesterday, I'm honey, I'm like, honey, you can transfer to public school real quick if you want, just be done. And she's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll finish it. But, um, but it, it's good for him. I'm glad. I'm glad that decision was made. So, uh, it, it, it's, but it's, a, it, this is an interesting time, right? So, all right. We done? Thank you. We out? Okay, guys. Love you guys and, uh, stay safe and we will. We will see you next week for some fun. We'll have some really a good time next week, and um, and and we'll keep you posted. I'll probably be going live. Uh, watch for us going live over the next couple of days because that there is some of the business stuff that's coming out that that we'll get on top of and see how that's going to work for you guys and make sure you guys are taking advantage of that as well. So, all right, okay, guys, take care. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.